Our understanding of disease prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and palliation has grown at an astounding rate. And Canadian researchers are often at the forefront of those scientific advances. At the same time, there's a gap between what is known, what's published, and what's actually done in healthcare. We often call this gap the research to practice gap. And it exists across healthcare sectors, conditions, and regions. So studies over the world have shown us that 30 to 40, 45% of patients do not receive care consistent with scientific evidence. Related to this, it's been shown that it takes about 17 years for original research to make its way into routine care. For those of us here tonight, what that really means is that many of the tools and the technologies that are being put into, into practice right now, we knew about them 17 years ago when Swiss Air crashed off our coastline. Let me give you an example. In 1987, the same year that Michael Jackson released the album Bad, the National Cancer Institute in the U.S. issued recommendations asking physicians to screen all of their patients age 50 and older for colorectal cancer. And that was based on emerging evidence at the time. In 2009, the same year that Taylor Swift sold more albums than any other artist not known as Michael Jackson, Nova Scotia implemented a population-based colorectal cancer screening program. So that was more than 20 years after those initial recommendations. So moving what we know into what we actually do is not sim simple and it's not quick. And we know this. Think about how hard it is to get out there and go for a run and to exercise. When I would say most of us are aware of the benefits of exercise and we accept the benefits. But what this gap means is that many of our patients do not always receive the best care possible. So why does this happen? What's going on? Well, moving research into practice requires change, and change isn't easy. Obstacles always seem to stand in the way. Sometimes the evidence itself just doesn't fit the setting. It's the wrong size. Sometimes healthcare providers and patients are not aware of the evidence, Maybe they don't believe in its value, or they really just don't know how to make it work for them. And sometimes providers, patients, and healthcare organizations just are not ready to take that evidence and put it into routine care. And of course, all kinds of organizational, economic, and political forces create an environment where it's really tough sometimes to take that evidence and put it into healthcare. Oftentimes, people who work within the system, they have so many competing demands, all while they work in an environment where all kinds of urgent things are going on. Yet we know we can find ways to bridge the gap between research and practice. I want to turn our attention to the cancer system, which is where I sit most of the time, um, and, and where I see a whole lot of opportunities. So we all know that cancer rep represents a substantial burden in our province. Many of us here tonight, myself included, have been affected by cancer. And we understand the huge impact that it has on patients and their families. At the same time, we also know that in Canada, we could improve cancer outcomes by at least 30% if we routinely used scientific evidence in practice. There are great examples here in Nova Scotia where we've led Canada in cancer care and control. And we have, we have shown that it is possible to move research into practice. We were the first province in the country to ban tanning bed use for kids and youth, and that was based on sound, credible evidence. We're also the first place in the country to routinely, and in a coordinated way, test lung cancer patients for specific gene mutations. And this information is so important because it allows us to find the best drug for that patient's unique type of cancer and it ensures that our patients here get the best, most cutting-edge treatments. But sometimes the research isn't there, and sometimes we just have to innovate. About 15 years ago, the cancer program here in Halifax saw an urgent need. Many of their patients just couldn't afford many of their drugs, um, pain medications and things like that, but also a lot of the high-cost oral drugs come into market, many of which cost patients thousands of dollars a month. So in 2005, they started an innovative position to help uninsured and underinsured patients access the cancer drugs that they need. Today, this position has been spread right across the country to help cancer patients access drugs. 
So these examples all exemplify the ingredients that are needed to change practice. Commitment from system leaders and frontline staff. Champions driving the change. Cooperative relationships and partnerships both inside but also outside the healthcare system. And teams that value research and evidence-informed care. So we know that the obstacles to moving research into practice are not impossible to overcome. My hope for healthcare is that we focus on supporting our people and our systems in change so that all Nova Scotians have access to and benefit from important scientific discoveries. The time to do this is now. We have the oldest population in the country. We have some of the highest rates of chronic disease. We've just had a major healthcare restructuring. All of these provide the motive and the opportunity to work toward a culture of health in our province. And here's something else. We can get there. We have robust and growing health research infrastructure. We're a small province. That means we can more readily take new ideas and evidence and move them into practice. And we've demonstrated a capacity for change. Sometimes that's by necessity, but we've shown we can do it. So take the leap. Become engaged in research, in those big projects so full of potential. Support innovation and support efforts to keep us all healthier from birth until the very end. Such a commitment, I do believe, on all of our parts, might just be the breakthrough we need to improve our population's health and to strengthen our healthcare system. Thank you.